Hello and welcome back everyone. It is Hollis the McIntyre here to do some more draft prospect scouting. Justice Richards out of Washington, physical receiver, was the only guy I got to look at today. Um, he looked pretty solid, but it was straight back into the game here against Carolina, the Panthers, a team I think we're actually favored by at least a touchdown to win against. Carolina has just, they haven't been the best. Um, you know, they're still dealing with a bridge quarterback situation. I mean, literally the bridge quarterback. Um, and they have Christian McCaffrey as pretty much their sole hope on this team. Uh, Curtis Samuel, some good wide receivers, DJ Moore, of course. But, you know, I mean, they're just they're just kind of meddling for years now. I don't, I don't really know what their plan is, but we'll go ahead and jump into the game against them and see if we can pull off this dub. And off we go here in Salt Lake City as Lance Roach will field this one at the 4-yard line. Takes it out at the 10 and down to the 20-yard line, 25-yard line, apologies. As Austin Belton will come out having a really, really up and down season so far. He started this year phenomenally. He's looked inconsistent at best in the last few weeks. Just hoping to see a little bit more stability from him as far as turnovers go. On um, first down, we're going to run it to Lance Roach for 9 yards there. If Lance Roach can start being a threat in the running game, this team can go far. Roach has already been really useful in the passing game. Just haven't seen a ton of him running the ball. On first and 10 here, going to find Ben Goddard, the slot receiver, for about 6 yards there. As made in motion here on second down now. And we'll throw it out to Lance Roach, actually, who's going to pick up about 10 yards. So Lance Roach already with two touches early in the game. Now we'll hand it off to Matthew Beard and Beard's got a hole. 30 to the 20 and he'll be brought down at the about 16 yard line. And this rushing duo of Lance Roach, Matthew Beard in the wake of Sammy Blake's uh, injury really has to step it up big time. Matthew Beard's been fantastic though. First and 10 now touchdown for the Flyers, Paris Campbell. Coming across on the uh, the like skinny post style route there as we ran a play action after a few runs in a row that were really successful. And that's the game that we're looking to have. Now on the Panthers on first down, Christian McCaffrey will get six yards on the handoff. And that is Teddy Bridgewater himself. Second down and four now. He's going to throw this one out. I feel like that could have been picked off by Justin Coleman, but... You know, we'll, we'll take it, I guess. Uh, first and 10, now second down and 5 at the 49-yard line. Bridgewater dropping back, going to throw this one out. And that's locked down himself, Jeff Okuda, breaking that one up. He's been worth every penny this season. Now third and 5, Bridgewater showing some mobility. Gets this one out and gets a new set of downs. Now Teddy going to hand it off to Christian McCaffrey. McCaffrey actually running through a few defenders there as he picks up quite a few yards. It's about 13 for him. Pretty good game so far for McCaffrey. Dropping back, Bridgewater going to roll out left here. He's got a lot of room in front of him. He's going to take off and run with this one. And the Salt Lake City defender just absolutely whipped on the tackle. I'm not sure what was happening there. As Bridgewater now has them at the 6-yard line. Make that the end zone as Christian McCaffrey gets his first touchdown of the game. Of course, it's through the air because he's not a normal running back. All right, back on offense, the Flyers uh, go as they really, okay, oh my goodness, just about went back on defense there. Belton with a terrible throw off his back foot. Now third down and seven. Belton going to throw this one out, and that gets, I think, one hand caught by Ben Goddard in traffic, and they're going to throw a flag for pass interference. So tack on some extra yards there. Through the P.I., one-handed, that might be your Odell catch of the year. As Matthew Beard runs this one for 10 yards and a first down. And off to Beard again. Beard, another first down. He'll pick up about 14 on this one. And the rushing attack for the Flyers looks just absolutely dominant right now. Man in motion now. Belton dropping back. He's going to throw this one out to Ben Goddard. And Ben Goddard has about 7 yards. Make it third and one. It's like Belton making some adjustments here. Crowd quiets down a little. And we're just going to hand it straight off to Beard. He'll pick up about five yards, maybe six yards on that one. And he's already close to, really getting close to 100 yards, crazily enough. As we'll throw the slant route here to Dante Pettis. Pettis has us inside the 10-yard line, close to scoring another touchdown here. 
Belton dropping back. He'll take off and run with this one. He's in for the score. Austin Belton. Nice run for him there. And Salt Lake City goes ahead 14-7. So Belton scoring a huge touchdown. Puts us ahead by 7. As Bridgewater is really bridging water here with that pass. That was a fantastic throw. And now Christian McCaffrey just going to shrug off a tackle. He's looking fantastic so far as we'll end the first quarter with a thin seven-point lead. Panthers threatening to score once again. Back at the top of the second quarter here. First and ten is the down as we're at the 28-yard line of the Flyers. McCaffrey running through tackles again. Just bad tackling today on the defense's part. Going to need a stronger defensive effort if we want to stay in this game. Now McCaffrey going to throw this one out. Sorry, Teddy Bridgewater's going to throw this one out to the five-yard line. And that puts the Panthers in prime position to score. But that's not going to happen. Jeff Okuda's going to not let anything be completed on him this game, it seems like. Doesn't matter, though. Second down, Panthers running Christian McCaffrey into the end zone. He'll pass one. He'll run one. He'll catch one. He'll do everything. That's Christian McCaffrey. First and ten throw to John Fernandez here. And John Fernandez with a... Big catch there, 20 yards for him, and Salt Lake City, first down. First and 10, handoff, belt. Beard just gets rocked down in the backfield. Um, play did not develop quickly enough there for him as the blockers were nowhere to be seen. Now second down and 12, Belton throwing this one out. Danger throw and that gets leapt. This one might go back for six, Lance Roach. No, actually Belton's gonna be the one to knock him out of bounds. I don't know that the throw was necessarily the worst. It was a well-placed throw. But the, you, you got to be smarter on that. That was double coverage. Guy leaps the route. And now Teddy Bridgewater's got the ball again. Throwing on the run. And he's got this in the end zone. Teddy Bridgewater looks like a star. I take back my bridge co quarterback comments. Like, he looks fantastic. How about Matthew Beard, though, hurtling over a falling defender as he's over 70 yards on the day? Let's keep handing it to him. Beard, five-yard run. Make that 79 yards. Third and six now. Belton dropping back. Going to throw this one across the middle, and that gets broken up. A poorly placed ball there, as we'll go for it on fourth and six. A little early to be going this aggressive. And, yeah, we're going to pay for it. Just a, a mind-boggling decision to go for it there at your own 40, as now Carolina is in prime position to go up two scores. And how about that catch there, Curtis Samuel? That's, that's a great throw from Bel uh, Bridgewater. Great catch from Samuel. Little touch pass now here on first and 10 at the 15. Gets them down to the one yard line. The Panthers looking to go up two scores here. And that is what they'll do. Christian McCaffrey once again. McCaffrey is just destroying us right now. Defense is nowhere to be found. Offense has to be sharper than they've been. First and 10, dropping back, throwing this one out. It is caught, Paris Campbell. So a lot of Paris Campbell today, actually. A lot of Vin Goddard. Not a ton of Dante Pettis. Second down and nine. Belton dropping back. Throwing this one out. He's got Hawkinson who shrugs off the tackle. And gets down after about nine yards on the catch to a third and one situation. Third and one at the 39. Belton. Handoff. Beard. He breaks through the hole. And he will truck a guy. And he's over 90 yards now. With a little over four minutes remaining in the second quarter. RPO now will find Pettis on the slant. Looks like he's really just been a slant guy today. Now second down and four. Handoff Beard. Beard just really using his blockers effectively. I haven't quite seen a Salt Lake runner run like he has. Now screen pass out to Lance Roach. Roach going to pick up a first down using his legs. That's what he brings to the table. He's like Christian McCaffrey from Walmart. Now second down and goal at the 8-yard line. Belton got to make sure he does a good job here. And he does. Guess who? It's Mr. Slantman himself. Dante Pettis, who has been relegated to running one route. And that is the slant today. Catches the touchdown, though. And now the Salt Lake City Flyers have to make a stop on defense. Two minutes remaining in the quarter. Dropping back Bridgewater. He gets sacked by Danny Shelton. And now it's third down and 17. You gotta expect soft coverage here. They run it. McCaffrey rocked down. And with a minute 40 left in the half, hey, Flyers are looking good. 
throw out here to Matthew Beard. I, I'm not sure. The defender broke down in space. It looks like the linebacker there as Beard picks up nine yards on the check down. Second down and one. Lance Roach back in the game. He was open. I think Belton just missed him. Lance Roach on the check down was wide open. Could have been 20 after, after catch there. And now Belton, what are you doing? Throwing into triple coverage there. The safety picks that one off. Lucky this one doesn't get returned for a touchdown as a lineman comes up to make a, a big play. But that'll probably give Carolina a two-score lead going into half. As I just, I'm just mind-boggling is, is I, I can't think of how to describe as Bridgewater runs in for a touchdown. My disappointment in Austin Belton. You know, we're approaching the trade deadline, and at this point, Salt Lake's got to make a decision. I think the fans, you know, have been calling for it. I'm going to have to listen to them. We have to make a decision on Austin Belton, as he's going to fumble here on the run. Uh, just a terrible day from him. Will we keep Austin Belton, or will we walk away from him? He's shown a lot of frustration. It's it's mutual frustration because he's playing poorly. We're playing poorly as Pettis is motioning here. You know, maybe we just need to get him more help. I'm not sure. Well, second down and 10, 20 seconds remaining in the half. Let's see if we can at least get close to evening it up. Throw this one deep to Pettis, and Pettis has it in the end zone. Okay, so maybe there's a reason we still have Austin Belton sometimes as Dante Pettis has made this quarterback. I mean, this is your Amari Cooper comp. Your Tyree Kill comp, he's not quite as good as either of those guys, but he makes Belton look way better than I think he actually is. So we head in a half down seven. Hopefully we can tie things up. Top of the second half here. Bridgewater dropping back. It's a seven point game as he's looking to change that early. How about DJ Moore for about 30 yards there? First and 10, now second and nine at the 39 yard line. Bridgewater dropping back, throwing this one out. Good check down there for him in the flats as he'll pick up about nine yards and a first down. Second down and seven handed off to Christian McCaffrey. McCaffrey down to the six yard line. Uh, there's just nothing to say. This defense has been abysmal today. Now McCaffrey, or sorry, Bridgewater finding DJ Moore. I, I don't even know who all scored all the touchdowns on the Panthers because so many of them have scored touchdowns today. We're back to a two-score lead for the Panthers. Belton off, taking off and roaming at this one. Flag is down on the field, though. I think that's going to be holding, and it is. That calls it back. Second down and 18. Play action. Belton going to drop back and throw this one. He does find Dante Pettis, who I was talking about not getting a lot of targets. Well, now he's starting to heat up. Third down and five. Belton dropping back. Going to find TJ Hawkinson. On the in route there, that'll be a first down at the 42-yard line. Calm, cool, and collected is what Belton needs to be this drive. As Beard runs this one for about seven, how about we run the ball a little more, guys? Third down and two, handoff Beard, first down, just barely. He picks up about three, and he's over the century mark for the day. Fantastic day running for Beard. How about this? Beard, 12, 13 yards on that one. Beard might go for 200. Throwing this one now, that is caught for Ben Goddard as he's down at the 22 yard line. First and 10. Play action to Lance Roach. I'm not sure, I'm not sure if, if Belton just doesn't understand what the linebacker does. Let's just move on. Bridgewater back at quarterback. Defense needs a stop to stay competitive in this game. Not going to get one as the tight end there picks up about 30 yards. Put them at the 50-yard line. Now Bridgewater handing it off to McCaffrey. McCaffrey, what is going on? Jelani Tafai whiffs. Really? This is the team I've traded for and drafted? You really can't blame me. I feel like this is a coaching problem. As <laughs> Curl Route was wide open from John Fernandez, backup tight end there uh, for probably a first down. We find him on this one though. We'll reward him for being wide open last time. Now third down and ten. I mean, what do you do if you're Belton? I guess you throw it deep to your guy Dante Pettis. I mean, that's that's all he can do. Really, that is inflating Belton's stats. I think because. Dante Pettis is such a gravitational player 
in this league. He has become one of the top wide receivers, especially in the deep threat. He's he's propping up Belton. This Belton will find Ben Goddard, will score a touchdown. A nice drive from him there. But again, most of Belton's positive plays come from deep, deep throws to De De Dante Pettis. And we've got other deep threats on this team that can't make the same place Pettis does. As we end the third quarter down 14 points, defense has to come up big if we want to have a shot in this. All right, well, we're back. Third quarter here, for our fourth quarter. End of the game, DJ Moore. And he's going to pick up 20 on us as we just have looked awful on defense today. Second down and eight, we at least finally bring down Christian McCaffrey. Joint effort of Jeffrey O'Sullivan and Chance Fortunato, who have been at no shows today in the pass rush. Now third and nine, we will short force a short pass, and we get the ball back at the 40. Got a score here to have a chance in this game, I think. Lance Roach on the screen. He's got 11 yards there. He's really good in that screen play. Now second down and 10, throwing this. How many is that? Anybody keeping a running tally? I kind of lost count a few gin and tonics ago. Um, I think that's probably interception like four or five from Austin Belton in one game. At what point do you bench him? Your, your superstar quarterback, right? The number four overall pick that was supposed to be the future of the organization. A transcendental player, generational talent, Andrew Luck style I mean, we're talking same kind of hype as him, same kind of hype as Trevor Lawrence, same kind of hype as Peyton Manning, and he's turned out like this. I, I, what's the future on him? I don't know. DJ Moore catches a touchdown here, and Salt Lake City is just raining down booze right now. It's a 21-point game. And that's with us having 35 points. So Belton going to show off his legs here. He's got to show off something to keep him on the team at this point. And I don't even know if he wants to be on the team. Maybe he's doing this on purpose. Like I said, he's uh, he's been expressing some displeasure. Here, here you go. Trade deadline rumors. No, no leaks coming out of this ship. Uh, I'm throwing us overboard to begin with. That's straight from the owner. Kosey Mintz on fourth and one. He'll pick up a first down. Kosey Mintz has been great, by the way. Love, love that addition. Here's a throw that should have been intercepted in a double coverage, and Dante Pettis bails out Austin Belton. Ever heard of that one before? Second down and 10. Oh, Dante Pettis. Again, back-to-back -back double coverage, breaking Belton out. And third in a row. Why not just throw it to Dante Pettis three times in double coverage and hope that he can make your stats look better? Well, he does because he's that good. And Curtis Samuel. We haven't seen him score a touchdown yet. Why not? Curtis Samuel all the way for the end zone as we're back to a 21 point lead after one play. So Lance Roach on a screen route here, gonna get about nine yards. Makes it fourth down and one. Well, I know we don't have a lot of time, but let's hand it off to Beard. So you have to score, get an onside, and then defend once. First and 10, throw it deep to Pettis. Pettis trusts the pass interference. That guy's gotten us so many yards downfield from that. And it doesn't matter because on second down, we're going to throw an interception again. And that is the end of the game. Thank goodness. I was about to vomit that inter that game was so bad. Austin Belton was horrible today. Horrible. We've got the trade deadline coming up. We've got one, maybe two weeks before it. I can't tell you what's going to happen with this team. Do we commit to Belton? Show him, give him the rest of the year with some upgraded talent and see what he can do? Do we move on from him? Will anybody even want to trade for him because he's made it clear he doesn't want to be here? Find out this much and more next week. Hollister McIntyre signing out.